Bun is faster than Node.js. But what about creating a real-world application server with it? There is no routing, no plugin and middleware handling baked into Bun itself. Elijah provides those missing pieces. When rebuilding my website, I wanted to rely on Notion as a CMS system. But Notion itself is not that quick, so I wanted to mirror the content within the service. After the basic project setup was done, I asked myself, how do I best build the REST API of my service with BUN? Of course, I could have created my endpoints with the basic surf API of BUN. But this became ridiculously complex when I created my first few routes. From the Node ecosystem I was used to Fastify, which provides everything you need to build solid, scalable REST APIs. Fastify also works with BUN. But before defaulting to Fastify again, I wanted to try out something new. During my search for alternatives, I stumbled over a benchmark, which led me to Elijah. Elijah basically is an alternative to Express or Fastify, but tailored to the BUN runtime. It comes with basic features that you would expect, like routing and plugin handling. But it provides even more than this out of the box like schema validation with type box, cookie handling and type safe API access. On top of this, there are plenty of plugins that you can use to satisfy your needs. Let's take a look at the core properties of Elijah. Elijah is really fast. It claims to be 21 times faster than Express. Apart from this, Elijah is only a thin wrapper around BUN, so we should be safe to expect reasonable performance. The API of Elijah is a bit similar to Express, but it's even simpler. It felt really straightforward to use. In this basic hello world example, we create an Elijah instance, add a route handler and tell it to listen to a certain port. And creating plugins which make it all scalable is very easy as well. A plugin is nothing more than another Elijah instance that we use within our main instance. This also means that we can turn any plugin into a standalone server when we call the listen method on it. If we want to have our plugin configurable, we can simply create a factory which returns an Elijah instance. Elijah ships with Typebox to validate your requests and responses for your endpoints. When we do this validation, we additionally get type safety to all the properties passed into our request handler and the response. If a request or the response doesn't match the schema, the client will receive a 400 HTTP status code with a message explaining what went wrong in the validation. What's really nice is that you can reuse the types which are derived from the schema definition within the client. You do this by installing the Eden package from Elijah. Then you export the typings of your application on the server side. In the browser, we use this type and pass it on to Eden. From the Eden API client, we can type safely access the whole API of our server. That's really cool. What do you think? That's all really nice. But is it a good decision to use Elijah? Elijah was first released in December 2022. So it was around before the release of BUN in September 2023. So it had some time to mature. It also gained some traction since the BUN 1.0 release. There certainly is some risk involved in using Elijah by now. It worked well for me, but I only built a very basic REST API with it. So this may not be very representative. This said, the solid performance and the high productivity that comes with Elijah 
may outweigh this risk. I also wouldn't be surprised if Elijah really takes off when Bun finds more adoption in the community. For my part, I will keep using it. Of course, all this Elijah stuff doesn't make sense if you don't adopt Bun. If you are unsure whether you should adopt Bun, you can have a look at this video next. I wish you happy coding and never stop learning. See you in the next video.